What's up with it, man? Why play radio? Smash and subscribe. This video is made specially for Miss Candace Wells slash Candace Bly. Hey, look, Candace, uh, this is the internet. I can talk to you without talking to you. We can do this. Uh, and I do want to apologize to you. You know, um, I want to say a few things to you, okay? I want to apologize to you. And, uh, and the reason I want to do this is because I was hate watching and I saw you talking to one of your friends. Well, I don't know if you fell out with him or what's going on with that, but uh, what you did say is um, I'm trying to um, something in the lines of it like like this is affecting my recovery. You know, um, I think I think that's uh, it takes some balls for you to say that and recognize it, and I got to give you your props for that. So shout out to you, man, and I wish you all the best in that situation for that situation um, i respect you for that okay now i you know i have a lot of respect for you for that i want to i want to emphasize on that i made videos on you i'm i i i, I clowned you um but you know i did speak with you know your man baby daddy uh ex i spoke with don I know you were either either right there or he told you. Um, I'm sure he did. Maybe he didn't. You know, and then he and then Don gave Benny the coward my number and all these shenanigans. And I've had a lot of drama, um, you know, sticking up for the most part, sticking up for your daughter. Uh, I don't like what's going on. You know, I, I, I've been sticking up for these exploiters since day one. Um, and, and my problem was. You, you, you associated yourself with a bunch of scumbags. And uh, I didn't understand it, you know. Um, and not only that, because that's my opinion, but I remember when you did a, uh, well, not you, but I remember when Don did a interview with Kankles. And uh, you were in the background. And he, it, this was the interview when I guess Kankles and the lady Laura asked when Summer's birthday was and Don couldn't say it. Okay, um, and then he kind of lost his cool or whatever. I'm not on here to, you know, you know, um, rag or, or, or throw a dig about that situation. I'm just reflecting on why we're here. But, but what I'm saying is, uh, then Don was arguing with Kankles and this and that, and there was there was a point where I guess he thought that he ended the stream yards or the the interview slash live was over, and. It was Don and Kankles that were communicating. But when he thought he was off, I heard you arguing. Everybody did. Heard you arguing with Don about don't talk to these people, this and that. Now, this was a while back. The people only seen you on Dr. Phil at this point. And maybe a few other times. But it was very, very seldom. And then Don goes to jail. And then you start... um. You know, in my eyes, the shenanigans start. You know, you're, 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 you know, you always were down with the coward. Uh, I'm glad you've seen through the light on that. The man made a lot of money off you. I don't know what it is. You only got two hundred fifty dollars from the guy. Come on, man. Uh, come on. You knew that was coming. Um, but I'm hate watching on Ernie, and and I, and I heard you say the recovery thing. You know, but. The reason I want to apologize to you is I went hard on you, but look what you, who you were hanging with, Miss Candace. Look, the coward, the interview with the dude Glare. The dude has, uh, there's women that have um, accused him of, 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 of rape. Okay? Uh, he beat his disabled kid. Okay? You do the coward, right? Ernie has all the weird charges and stuff going on. Like, it's just, I, you, for myself, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stick up for uh, for your daughter on these scumbags that are exploiting her. But at the same time, they were exploiting you. These are scumbag people. Now, I understand I give you credit for branching off from these people. You know, but uh, that's just my look on it, right? A lot of comments. And I have got caught up in this case a little bit. Um, I don't know what it is. There's just so many unanswered questions. 
there's it, it's just so strange. There's why law enforcement hasn't ha, has nothing. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, I I did I and then I made a couple towards you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not apologizing to you for that as a man. Um, I think that a lot of people got caught up in this. And I know that a lot of people are upset with you because um, you have people that uh, from day one gravitated towards you and, and, and uh, were on your side, right? You know, um, guilt, uh, innocent until proven guilty. And then it seemed like the narrative went from that to um, your associations with said scumbags. And once they burnt you, the same people turned on you, right? And Cam too, that dude's a scumbag. Now, it, I, I'm looking at like the whole thing and it seems like no one's in your quarter now. Now, um, I don't know. You have the people that were there from day one. You had the people who didn't like you. And, and I was one of those per, pu, pers, people to publicly say that. But, you know... I, what I didn't do is take into um, consideration the most obvious thing in the world. What you have going on. And that's more than I've ever had to deal with personally. I've never been in your shoes. I've been in your husband or ex-boyfriend, boyfriend's shoes where he's at. I've had to do that struggle, but I've never been in your shoes. I don't know what I would do. I don't know how I would react I think a lot of people get lost in that you know in a sense it's like you're going through grief in a sense now I'm not saying anything and I'm not I'm not trying to put that title I'm just kind of comparing it I guess if you will so I do want to apologize as a man to you Miss Candace you have people on your side and people against you the whole time. But as I look at what's going on now, I'm still keeping up with it. I've tried to leave this case alone. Very hard, very hard. You have more people now against you than in the beginning. And it's hard for me to leave it alone, Miss Candace, because I'm indirectly involved. I never wanted to go to your house. It was never in my plans. Um, and then I seen what happened, what the, what the people did. I'm so glad I would, I didn't go. I would never went to your, the man's job. I would have done that. I think um, a lot of these people that try to collab with you, get close to you, they just used you. And 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 I'm not trying to um like throw a dig at you or, 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 or like throw it in your face because I could share the same struggle with you. And some of the same people who tried to use you, they used me, okay? The problem is, again, back to I've never been in your shoes. I never had this, this situation happen to me in life. And, 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 and for the love of Jesus... I hope no one has to share that. Only you know what that pain is. Most people that collab with you and got with you and promised you all these empty promises and, 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 and the same with your husband, look at all of them. They've all burnt you and shit all over you. They have no sympathy. They have no heart. You'll never get this from them. It was just about money for them, about a come up, about building a channel. Using you, but off your daughter's name. I hope, I wish you the best. I really do. Um, you know, you could take this with a grain of salt, but it's coming from my heart. You ever want to come on and talk about it? Um, you know, you can. I doubt you will. I'm not looking forward to it because I don't think that you will. And it doesn't matter if you don't want to. It's not what it's about. But 
the invitation's always there. I wish you uh, luck, especially with your uh, your journey into recovery. I share that same struggle with you. I did. But hey, uh, I wanted to tell this to you, man. Um, you know, I will say this, Miss Candace, before before I end this. Uh, I know you, your husband, boyfriend, whatever Don is to you, has said many times uh, that you, you you guys don't like social media. He told me on the phone personally. Uh, everything is fake on social media, specifically YouTube, he said. You know, I think, um, and this is just from the outside looking in, when I reflect on this whole thing, um, when, when Ken Close was talking to Don and he thought the live ended, you know, you were like, don't talk to those people. You know, you know, I, I don't know what was said. You were arguing with them, but you, you're like, don't talk to those people. I think if you would have stayed with that mind frame, um, a lot, a lot, a lot less bullshit would happen um, to you, and uh, you know. But at the same time, don't let these people get. Um, don't let these people uh, be above you. Even if you're going through recovery or trying to get into it and trying to make it happen, still don't ever let these people get above you. You know, uh, hold your head up high. Be a strong woman. I hope to Jesus, I pray for you and your daughter, that something happens and you find your daughter.